Alright guys, so here we are for round 13 of season 2 of the SRL F1 uh, Racing League Championship and uh, we're here in Abu Dhabi for the 13th round of the season and uh, starting off here in qualifying we're going to feature the highlights from my POV from uh, qualifying uh, yeah, for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix so um, yeah, here you can see the setup, I went with 3-1 uh, arrow, quite low for this track um, but I found that you could really gain a lot of time on the straights uh, especially the long straight in the second sector so yeah we're going out on track now for our first run in this qualifying session and uh, yeah we'll be looking to get pole position for I think the fourth time this season I don't even know how many pole positions I have uh, taken in this season so far but uh, either way so this is our outlap now going underneath the tunnel as we uh, exit the pit lane as we now cut a little bit ahead now to the end of the uh, third sector this is still my outlap so uh, this isn't my timed lap yet however with two corners to go we will be starting uh, our first lap in this 15 minute qualifying session so putting the engine up into rich mix now to get as much uh, power as possible now coming through the final corner down into third gear now getting a good exit to start our lap so engine up into rich mix now breaking down for turn one shifting down into second gear briefly then up through the gears again as we have a bit of overstay there on the exit but nothing too bad slightly cutting the corner there through turn two um, but the game didn't give me a warning for it so i'm just gonna carry on now um, coming through the first sector split we go purple but no one has set a time uh, yet so it's not really representative to the rest of the field as we now come through the very slow hairpin, happen it's very important to get a good exit out of this corner considering it's a long straight um, after it and you can lose a lot of time if you don't get a good exit as we now um, cut a bit ahead to the end of the third sector we can see um, Alex Benicetti setting the fastest lap so far in this session as we're just looking to complete this final sector of the lap as we now come through the penultimate corner and I actually cut the corner there which means that this lap is invalidated so uh, unfortunately this lap won't count and rightly so as well because I cut the corner there so I deserve to get a penalty for that but either way um, we're gonna push on on this second lap considering this first lap didn't count so that's a bit frustrating but it's only early on in the session and it wasn't a very good lap anyway so it would probably end up um, not being my fastest lap so it's not too bad now coming through the final sector and um, we are about a tenth down on Alex Benacetti as we um, get a bit of opposite there the car was a bit out of shape uh, through that section again bit of opposite look there on the exit of the hairpin as uh, we again cut a bit ahead to the end of the third sector once again now uh, we can see my teammate uh, Stoner Eduardor in front of me and luckily he pulls out uh, pulls out of the way nicely there um, so he didn't uh, hold me up so that's uh, nice to see um, I was a bit worried when I, when I was behind him that he would maybe hold me up but either way coming through the penultimate corner this time taking it very nicely really flying through there and taking a lot of speed a bit of overset there on the exit that wasn't very good we go third provisionally and um, I think I, I'm still gonna push on for this lap considering I still have just about enough fuel to um, get one more lap and in this run so I had a bit of overset there on the exit of the first corner but nothing too bad as we now come up through the first sector split and we are actually down by two tenths on our personal best and by about three tenths on Alex Benacelli the, the current pole sitter as we now come through the hairpin and now we've got a bit ahead but um, yeah now putting the engine down into standard mix actually for this slow section to um, reduce the wheel spin on the exit talking about wheel spin we get a lot of wheel spin there on the exit of that very slow uh, chicane as we now put the engine up into rich mix again for this straight and now putting the engine down into standard mix 2 again for the final sector we actually improved by 7 tenths over our time but still 4 tenths down though on the time of Alex Benicelli bit of oversteer there on the exit again now trying to reach for the apex of this corner again a snap of oversteer so this lap doesn't look flawlessly but it still looks better than the lap before now putting the engine down into standard mix to reduce the, reduce the wheel spin once again now coming through this corner bit a bit out of shape there a little bit unstable again 
uh, some opposite log on the exit. Now putting the engine up into race mix again, coming through the penultimate corner, and again I cut the corner, so that's very um, bad driving for me actually. As we now still come through the final corner, I still push them because I wanted to know what I could do. And we actually go purple, and you can see on my wheel movements that I was clearly frustrated because my lap doesn't count and if I wouldn't have made a stupid mistake by cutting the corner I would have got professional pole position and uh, I don't have enough fuel left to do a uh, fourth lap so this is the end of my first stint so I had to come back into the pits so still provisionally in third position and uh, I was really frustrated about that because if I wouldn't have cut the corner there I would have been on pole position provisionally so yeah, I was really pissed off at this time, but um, with still about four minutes left in the session, four and a half minutes, I think, we can still do two laps um, in this session on this set of option tires. And by the way, I've put on a new set of option tires for my second run, so here we go. We can do two laps, and we are starting the first one of these now. So coming into turn one, I'll breaking just after the 100 meter, we'll back down into third gear, really clipping the apex of the corner there nicely. Bit of overset there on the exit, but nothing too bad. As you now come through the third and fourth corner, trying to get a sweeping line there and going wide out over the curbs. As you now come through the first sector split, we're actually down by 400 of a second on our previous lap so um, it's not too bad but still it's not up and that's what you really w uh, would want to see but we take a pretty uh, smooth line there through the hairpin so that's very important to um, get an advantage on this rate as we now open up the DRS and coming up to the very slow uh, chicane section here breaking just after the 100 meter ball just after the curbing starts there back down into second gear clipping the edges of the corner now trying to get a smooth exit a lot of oversight there on the exit of that corner as we now shift up through the gears again opening the DRS for the second straight as you now come up to the third and final sector of this track and we actually go purple there over a second up on our previous best I can't see the time um, in comparison to Alex but either way trying to get as smooth as possible through this section I was a bit too desperate there trying to get on the, per uh, on the power as early as possible which is probably gonna cost me a little bit as we now come through the final sector back down into second gear again a bit unstable there now going left for this uh, left hander now again and again a bit of overset there on the exit so it's not looking very good as so we now come through the penultimate corner this time not got it I take it pretty well through there luckily didn't cut the corner now the final corner trying to reach for the apex and bit of overset there on the exit will it be good enough for pole position no it is not I improved by four tenths but still half a second down on Alex so we're still provisionally in third position now coming through the first corner that was a bit of a cut but I didn't get a penalty for it so I still continued on for this lap only half a minute to go in this session so this will be our final Final lap. Can we get full position? Now coming through the first sector, we are dead even with our previous lap there. No point, no, no, no seconds and about uh, seven thousandths of a second down on Alex Benicetti. A bit of overset there again on the exit of the corner. So seven thousandths down of a second on Alex Benicetti this time. If we can uh, maintain this pace through the rest of the lap, we may. Um, be close to getting pole position. Now putting the engine down into standard mix for this uh, slow chicane going left and then right bit of Oster again mounting the curb. Now putting the engine up into rich mix again. I don't know if I gained time there or lost time. It looked a bit weird but still smooth at the same time. So uh, session time limit has now been expired. So this is our final lap now coming through the final sector and we actually we are down by two tenths and uh, also down by about a tenth on Alex uh, is time so it's looking like it's going to be very difficult to get pole position out in this sec uh, section we'll really need to push to the absolute maximum to um, have a chance at pole position now coming through the final sector I actually get a message from my teammate saying good job and that put me off so I run wide and it's looking very messy at this stage so it doesn't look like we will be getting pole position for this track absolutely flying through the penultimate corner now the final corner trying to reach for the apex getting on power as early as possible as we're now coming to the line will be good enough for pole position oh yes oh my god that was such a good lap yes oh wow no! i'm shaking i was like so. i thought i was never gonna make that but oh wow how, how did i manage that Oh yes, 
Dude, that lap felt so good. I was I was so concentrated. So yeah, as you could hear, there a huge relief there when I uh, saw that I had pole position because I really wasn't expecting it because it was uh, down in the first and second sector and the third sector didn't feel that good, especially um, because of that mistake where I uh, run wide um, after I got that message. But uh, somehow I still managed to take pole. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video considering I will show the race in a different video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.